how you know she'll be back after you do no contact. So the first thing you have to understand is the reason why you're here is because this person that dumped you is no longer attracted to you. They don't want to be with you anymore. They're tired of the behaviors, whatever it is, right? And before you make a comment, you saying, you know, oh my gosh, she's got her issues too, or he's got his issues too. This person is the one who wants out. See, there are usually a lot of behaviors that are going to turn somebody off, anybody, right? And what happened with her or he, depending if you're a woman, woman watching this, they got tired of the behaviors. So they got tired of whatever it is that you were doing or not doing. So the first step is actually implementing some distance in space because there's an emotional dial that they're going to have and it's cranked up to 11 when they actually leave you because there's also added emotions of having to break up with you. So when they're when that emotional dial is really high, it's hard for them to see any kind of logic and reason to keep you around. So the more space that you put between you, you guys can figure out, okay, you know, some of these issues are actually not really that big of a deal. So they can realize that when there's actually space and time between you. So step number one is you have to implement no contact because they need that space to remember and to think about the fact that you're really important and there is going to be a world without you in it. Okay. And then number two, usually they are thinking, okay, I can get this person back at any time. We call this dumpers confidence, dumpers arrogance, whatever you want to call it. So we call this uh, the, the, the arrogance phase, right? When I talk to my clients about this and basically they know that they can get you back at any time because you probably said, I will go back out with you or I want to pick up where we left off. You, you're alluding to the fact that you want to keep things going. So they are very confident that they can go out and date someone else, see someone else, be alone, whatever they're going to do and get you back anytime. So that's the second step and no contact helps with that. That's how you know she'll be back around. If, if you do these things properly, you're going to have a window of opportunity. That window of opportunity is going to give you um, the, the ability to look attractive again. But here's the issue. If you don't have the right idea in your head about what to say and not say, because it's more of an art form than it is a science, then you're going to be screwed because most, okay, here's what most guys do is a perfect scenario for you before we go into step number three. Okay. Perfect scenario is girl reaches out. Hey, how are you? How you doing? Long time. No see. He goes, yeah, you know, it's been a while. I hope you're doing well. I hope you're doing well too. That kind of shit. And then he's going to go, okay, she messaged me now let's meet up. Let's do that. You can't just jump right back into it. A lot of guys, this is what I call, let's jump right back into it. Let's pick up where we left off, right? A lot of guys do that. And it's a real big issue because guys, women don't work like that. I know most of my audience is fellas. So I'm going to talk, I'm talking to the fellas right now. Women need to be worked back up. That, that attraction level needs to slowly climb back up as you go forward. Okay. So that's how you know, uh, she'll be back with those two reasons. Now, the third reason is when you put distance there, this kind of goes into the second reason, but when you put distance there, it makes you seem more attractive because you're not as available, right? And when you're not as available, it's harder to, they're going to go, okay, maybe he is a stronger and more attractive than I thought. And if you're a lady watching this, just reverse it because He's not chasing me. He's, and this isn't a conscious thought. This is something that you need to understand. Consciously, they're not thinking these things. So when you go through this, you have to understand. Always, always refer to the Hawkins. This got beat up during my move. It got so wet during the, like, it was raining and this got wet as fuck. But basically, you want to get back up to courage, okay? So this colorful chart, just for anybody who's wondering, is called the Hawkins Scale of Consciousness. Literally Google it. I went to the site and I ordered one. This got, again, it got, it got all fucked up. But literally, if we go here, so this right here is courage. You need to be courageous enough to let them go to separate. See, I'm, I'm trying to tell you from a 30,000 foot view of how exes come back and how attraction from an energetic standpoint works. Because if you are available all the time, you're less attractive. If you are predictable, you're less attractive. And these unpredictable, and people will say, oh, this is a bunch of games. Kind of, but 
When you're actually a busy person and you're living life to the fullest, you're going to be unavailable. You're going to be, see, and this is the issue. Most people are boring. That's, that's a sad, cold, hard truth. Most people are boring. They don't have a lot going on and they live mundane lives. The bigger and, and bolder you live your life, the more uh, attractive you're going to, again, courage, right? So courage is uh, the level, level 200 of this emotional scale, whatever you want to call it. When you're living in courage, you're doing sales calls, you're doing businesses, you're doing all that kind of stuff. And you're acting in a way that is big and bold. This makes you attractive. Man or woman does not matter. And from understanding this, you're going to be able to use this. And I, I suggest you order one or pick up the book. I don't have it in front of me. It's, um, but it's really, really important to understand where you're trying to go. Having an aim, having a goal. Because look, courage... And the next one up is neutrality. So when you're neutral and you're like, whatever, I'll take it or leave it. That's what she feels right now, fellas. Okay. Ladies, same thing. When he breaks up with you, they're like, nah, take it or leave it. They even no think that they can get you back. They think this. Okay. And then the next one up is willing, ex willingness and acceptance. Now, reason, love, joy, and peace, and enlightenment. Okay. You know, that's up there. Okay. When you get to acceptance and you're like, I'm cool, right? Now, even that is a, is a harder and not so like punchy way to say it because courage is actually such a powerful emotion and you can do a lot with just courage. And so, so looking at the opposite, this is where most people are, fear and desire and anger. So these three emotions right here are super, super detrimental. And basically, any dumb bee is going through that right now. They're going, okay, I'm hurt and I'm afraid to lose them. I don't want to lose them. So they fear things. So because they feel that fear, they try to hold on. So imagine, again, I've, I made this. I've made this before. But if you have, if this, this person, if you're holding on to their hand, right? You're. They want to let go. So they're going like this. All right. They're going like this. They don't want to hold hands with you. And you're just sitting there. <laughs> I look so stupid right now. They, you're, they're, you're just sitting there going like this. And you're like, love me. And they're like, fuck you. Okay. So you need to let them go so that they can come back and choose you again. That is the key. And the key to start that is to start understanding you have to live in courage, which means you have to be willing to let them go. Willingness, acceptance, peace, love. So another way of saying this is cap, courage, acceptance, and peace. Not cap as in like you're lying, but courage, acceptance, and peace, right? So courage, the, be, the ability and the willingness to say, I don't need you in my life, even though you're hurt. And again, this takes some time. This can take a month, two months, three months to realize it is what it is. That's how it works. Okay. So much love to you guys. Get to courage. That's how you know she'll be back around. For ladies, that's how you know he will be back around. You have to be, basically what I'm telling you to do from a, from a 30,000 foot view is to be more attractive. Your energy needs to be more attractive. Use this. Okay. Pick up the book. It's called Letting Go by David Hawkins and the Sedona Method by Dale Dwoskin or Dolsky or something like that.